Hey there boys and girls, Lucky here and welcome back to another CSGO video. So today I will show you guys a replacement for my Road to FPL series and that will be Road to A+, which is again just basically the same thing but on ECA. So this will be a demo analysis of my own match for you guys to basically show you what I did and why I did it and what I could have improved on and stuff like that. So I'd say let's get right into it. Oh, and before I forget, please let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see more videos like this one. But yeah, let's get right into it. So we're starting out with the pistol round. I'm always in mid and kind of pre-firing the headshot spot where they're running in out of big garage. I see they're kind of pushing in right here, so I'll try to retreat back to highway to keep my distance so I don't get locked down. As soon as my teammate is with me right here, I'm able to push down again since we got the man advantage and just kind of fire at the spot right there where he was and get the kill on him, which was quite nice. Then of course we go for the retake since it's a pistol round and my friend right here brings it down to a 3v3 scenario, which will be a 2v2 in a second right here. So right at this point it's called it's a 2v2. And there should be two in CT, however one of them was in sight, so I kind of misinterpreted the call since one of them died in CT. So I really should have paid closer attention to that. For the second round, of course, we decide to force it up since you should always force second round if you did not get a bomb plant. I get a 5.7, an armor and a kind of smoke off mid- And of course I get shot through the uh, wall right here and I'm down to 8 HP which was kind of risky. So I'll just try to sneak up next to the smoke so the guy on boost cannot see me if he decides to kind of push up there as well. So I'm just kind of right here hiding and lurking trying to get a, a cheap kill on a guy who's pushing out. As I see that the smoke is fading I once again check boost right there and just wait until someone's trying to push mid in order to get a kill on him. I actually see the guy pushing down from there. He wasn't quite prepared for me which again was my plan and I get a kill on him. Then again we got a good scenario. It's a 3 versus 1. I pick up the deagle and do not pay once again attention to the call out of my mate which again enables the other teammate or better that enemy to rush me. So right here, my mates, as I call them, he's at the underboost spot and he got them, which was quite nice. Next round I pushed up into mid again, however this time on the other side of mid to just keep them guessing and not be predictable and just kind of wait right here to once again get a, a kill on someone who's trying to push in and run in. However no one is coming in mid and it's called that the bomb is in A main and that they're probably going towards A. So I'm trying to push a little bit more into the middle area right here in the garage and try to get them from behind. So let's just fast forward this a little bit until the next point where I actually get into a main. And as you can see, they haven't planned the bomb for quite some time, so I just try to stay quiet as much as possible. Both of them are spotted, so I just try to pre-fire them with the Mac 10 of course. I had the advantage since I was able to run gun, and I get the defuse, which ends the round for us. Next up, we have the first gun round. I managed to grab an AK, and this right here is what I usually do for mid. I just kind of smoke off the garage, I molly boost, and then I flash myself out. Since they, when they're rushing into it, I cannot see it, and they might already be under boost, or better said, under vents to my right right here. So what I do is I go behind white box, and I kind of nade the spot in the middle. Of course, as I suspect correctly, the guy was already there, but I get a kill on him, which was quite nice. So right here we just once again get mid control and I'm kind of pre-firing through the wall and this is what I usually do, I try to do as much damage in mid. I really want them to not go mid just by throwing many nades, by just spamming the walls, just in general make them uncomfortable when they go mid because I, since I'm solo I really have to kind of apply pressure. Right here I just got some info and what I should have done really was to wait for my mate in order to have a, a better kind of trade frag scenario. The other guy gets me through a smoke right here since my position was known and of course my mate wasn't able to finish it off alone. So it was a mistake on my side, I really should have waited for him to actually road up, rotate up to me. Because of the last lost round we had to do a double eco, which I just kind of skipped because there wasn't much to see and learn from. So this is the next gun round and once again I'm doing my usual stuff or thing in mid right here. And I got flashed, so this means they're probably pushing out. However, this time around I also got a mate with me, so he's pushing down from highway in order to help me. And I can see that someone's pushing out right when I get out the nade, which was bad timing. But I able, I'm able to get him since he wasn't kind of guard. And since the other guy was already also damaged, I once again got him. Then I just continue with my usual applying pressure, just throwing a grenade right there. And then the other molly that I picked up, and just once again making him uncomfortable, just banging through the wall. Just really not wanting them to stay in the garage, just spread to A or B but not stay in mid since I'm solo there and it's kind of hard to hold mid solo. So right here I just kind of rotated over to highway and back into connector since it's a safe thing to do in order to not get shot from. However it takes some time. Right here I saw the guy in mid. However I decided not to come to instantly peek again. I just wait a little bit and kind of catch him off guard which again works out and now we are in a forward one scenario and this should easily get us the win in a couple of seconds as my teammate is killing the last guy when I'm picking up this op which will forward us to the next round. So we got another double eco, this is the second eco round for that. I decide to get pistol armor to force it up a little bit and try to push into squeaky to get some cheap 
fast entry kills, which, as you can see, did not work out. No one was right here, so I just played it quietly and slowly, and I was just playing for intel, and I was basically only trying to get some info. So I peeked in right here, nothing behind the garage, and also nothing behind boost, so I actually went back to side in order to help my orange mate right there, and as we can see in the kill feed up on the top right, two of our teammates are dead now, so it's a 2v5 scenario right now. He says someone is in their main, and I tell him, please do not peek, however he decides to still kind of fight the guy with his pistol, which of course doesn't work out since he had an AK, actually was the guy from behind, so however since he had to reload I was able to get, or better said rush the guy and get his AWP right here, I of course know they were kind of pushing for me, I also hear the other guy running in behind me, however I want to switch positions in order to keep them guessing and not to be too predictable if that makes any sense. Since I killed a bomb carrier in first place right here, I now got a very good spot because usually they will suspect me to just hold it from right here and to peek into A main, however I most of the time just hold this spot right here and only peek into A main every now and then, since I will most likely hear them, since it's very likely since they think that I'm kind of peeking there that they won't kind of sneak in because then I can easily kill them, so they will make a sound, which again means I can easily just watch this side. Again, hear the grenade, kind of peek it again, scope in, and make them think that I am actually there. I kind of think someone's coming right here, and I was actually right. I was waiting for this guy the whole time, so now they can't actually attack me from both sides anymore, just peeking out, checking if someone's coming from here, and of course if he has or wants to win the round, he has either has to kill me now, or get the bomb, which is both very hard. So he's still thinking that I'm kind of covering it from A main. Of course, he was to the left side on of the map, which means he would have to rotate through mid into right here, which again would m enable me to see him in the first place. So he actually decides to save, since he wasn't quite able to get it. Fast forwarding a couple of rounds since they were going mid, doing my usual thing, however when I got an op, I do not push out, I just smoke it off and try to throw a nade in there to just do some, once again, general damage. And I see one is peeking out, so I'll just try to molly it off to actually force him out, and then I, after I flash of course, go for the peek and try to kill him. As we can see, it did work out, however, it seemed that he was not flashed, so kind of risky right there. I see a flash coming in, so he's probably rushing me, which means I have to fall back. As we can see, he did, and I get another kill on him. Now, I do something stupid that I'm not really proud of. Uh, I got kind of greedy, and since my blue mate was actually there, I thought it was a good idea to re-peek once again, and just kind of pre-fire in there. However, it was some kind of miscommunication, since the guy was already out mid, and at least my blue friend got the trade kill on him eventually, and we later on, of course, win the round. Now we're at the last round of the first half, and I'm doing my usual thing in mid, just trying to apply pressure, and getting some kills and kind of fending off the enemies. Then there's a call that one is in squeaky, or at least towards the A side, so I kind of decide to push onto here and try to help my mates. There's a call, he's in A main, I see him, miss my first shot, go for a repeek since I'm confident that I can hit it, and get him, which will basically end the first half. Second round, first half as terrorists, we're deciding to push into A main right here to go for an A take. So we're just kind of setting up with smokes and flashes and all of that, and I'm just trying to kind of dodge any flashes that might come in behind this box. And then, of course, my first teammate gets picked off right here, and we decide to once again keep pushing, just trying to apply pressure and fire, just basically covering my mate right here. He also gets killed once again. After rushing this guy, I managed to get the bomb as well as get this guy, but now in a, in a 1 versus 3 scenario. And right here, I really should have landed my headshots a little bit better, but of course, it's kind of hard to do it from quad since there are two sides, and then, of course, also buff, which they can come from. So it was kind of screwed out here, and they eventually get me in the end. Next round we decided to actually force it up with Tech 9 armor, which is quite viable, so I'm just flashing mid right here to keep them guessing and confused. Then we decide to once again go towards A and just try to release Hell on them with our Tech 9 power. And as you can see, it actually works out quite well, just pre-firing a couple of spots right here and going for default plan since, of course, we're kind of close range, so contesting the, the left side right here to my left is kind of hard with the Tech 9. However, Two of my mates right here also get another kill, which is quite handy, one of them has a scout and it works out in the end. Now it's a 2v5, I see one guy set truck, which again makes me actually go up in the wound boxes and get a jump shot on him with attack 9 and it works out in the end again. Now for our first gun round, I did not do all that much, I was just holding mid, trying to gain some information. As soon as I got some info, clearing the angles, I pushed out and gained mid control. And then I decided to actually go for B, since there were a couple of question marks and my friend needed help, so I naded mid or better said Z connector. However, I see my mate calling this one as connector, so I actually decide to try to get a kill on him jumping up and spraying him down, which worked out quite nicely. Then on B, friendly gets the last kill and we win the round. 
So skipping a couple of rounds ahead, we kind of realized that our T side wasn't the best and usually my T side is my better side, not the CT side. However, our team spirit was also not quite as good since one guy just was trying to keep forcing an AWP every round, which again made this round the first full buy for all of us again when we finally actually made him, uh, well, buy an AK instead of an AWP since he wasn't the greatest with it. Since we kind of Again, managed to get on point again. I'm trying to just contest mid. Pacha right here. Not sure if I hit him or not. However, if I did, I just trying to nade him right here at white box. Trying to, again, do as much damage as possible. Again, trying to contest mid, making him uncomfortable. Even for T side, the same applies. And I'm mauling off um, forklift, since usually a guy was hiding there the last couple of rounds. Now I'm just uh, kind of trying to wallbang this spot right here. And we're going for a take. I realized we forgot the bomb, so I go back and grab it. Most of my mates get killed at toxic barrels from highway, so one is called right there, and another of our mates gets killed in a couple of seconds because he kind of lost the gunfight. So right now it's a 3v2, which sucks. Then again, I get this guy, which is a 2v2 now, and once again, do not kill this guy, but at least I probably did some damage to him. And I missed my spray since I completely ate that flash. And now it's a 2v2, and I had to reload, and I didn't made it to reload in time. So I really should have kind of tried to went back to quad to with my teammate but then again my teammate also could have pushed out with me as I said before we were kind of not a very good team and our communication was very bad now the CTs actually did catch up quite a lot they had kind of a comeback on us so it's now 12-4 still in our favor however so we as we can see Malumba right here decides to buy and force it up so we again of course also decide to buy with him getting some AKs, since he only had a tank 9, this was kind of a half force buy, full buy, I don't know what it was. And I actually want to go for mid control once again. However, these guys uh, wanted to do the wall of smokes, but it took them a little too long, so uh, if they would have called right from the get-go, would have been able to contest mid properly, but like this, they just kind of smoked us off. Then I right here asked for a boost in order to get up and contest mid from right here, since there's always a way to contest mid, just from my point of view, just holding a main right here until my boost partner arrived. Just getting up right here and trying to, once again, contest a little bit. This is usually a very good nade, just nading white box usually works out quite a lot and very well. I decide to do this little parkour jump up here, strafe jump, and get another peek on the guy right here. However, sadly I miss, my shot wasn't quite on point since our moral was also a little bit down after losing so many rounds in a row. However, it looks quite good right now. Three versus one, I managed to get two of the kills right here, and we decide to go for an eight take. Not completely sure if someone is truck or not, so uh, Blue is actually holding from there, just smoking off A main. Blue decides to go fork, and I decide to go into uh, behind quad. So it's only one of the enemy guys left, and we got no info. So what we usually do is we just wait. We got the man advantage, he has to push us, and we can trade frag. Right here, I boosted up and saw, or better said hurt, he had a scoped weapon, probably an AWP, as we can all hear. So I just said, no, don't peek, scoped. However, my mate still decided to do so, which was quite not risky, but it worked out eventually, so it was okay. So, fast forwarding to the last round, it's 14-15 still in our favor and this round will decide if we will win the match or not. So, as I said before, our team synergy wasn't quite good and we kept doing the same thing, just kind of applying pressure to mid and kind of nading it and then going for an A take. Of course, the CTs after some time got used to that, so they were quite pushy from B and getting us from behind. This meant I had to stay right here and try to kind of fend them off if they're coming from behind. Our team wasn't quite happy, since I wasn't on top of the scoreboard, they were saying, well, why is the top fragger holding the backstab? And I mean, no one else was, so... Our team was really... The main reason why we lost this game was, towards our end, our team was really kind of fighting more individually against each other than against the enemies, so this did cost us a round. Once again, they weren't kind of deciding to, to push out and just going out baiting one by one, which did not work out, obviously. I get another kill right here, which doesn't work out in the end. And we actually got a tie and got comebacked on. So I hope you'll enjoy this little video. Please let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see more demo analysis like this. And I think it's for now. And like a skill faker out.